What's up, class? It's been a minute. I really miss you, but not to panic, cause we got the interwebs, and I'm gonna share with you everything that we did in class. So I hope that you're not sitting on your... I hope that you're playing your instruments, spending time with your family, Knowing that we take it day by day There ain't nothing to worry about I really miss our times in class, you know? Like when you guys would come in and I'd ask Hey, how's your day before you got here? I really want to know, guys And I miss it whenever you'd look right back at me And you'd ask Yeah, but how was yours? You guys give me so much, and I'm missing that right now. But I hope not to frown. As cheesy as it may be, I'm trying to be your music teacher still. But I don't know. I'm on your computer screen, probably your phone. I want to remind you that you you're not at the beginning with any of this. No. There's so much that you already know in the world of music. I think each and every one of you, you ought to use it. So when you're in your bedroom and you're bored out of your mind, won't you just pick up an instrument or even just use your mind? Yeah, you can listen to the sounds around you. You can put on the tune if it astounds you just get to it yeah no one's gonna give it to you but yourself you got the music let it move ya remind yourself you got the vocabulary you know how to search you got youtube you got google but you can use it if you oogle it who knows what that means we can look it up that's what i'm talking about so, I want to remind you of the things that we've gone through in class. The things that you've seen, yeah? The circle of fifths, do you know what I mean? And the order of sharps and flats. These things you can look up on your own if you really want to, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna hook you up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let you into a little secret that we're gonna have resources. So won't you click the links in the descriptions? Won't you subscribe to this? Get your friends, get your family on board. Cause the more followers we got, the more we got in store for you. Yeah, we're trying to hook it up. Hana Arts coming to you live from YouTube. All right, so back to it. Okay, guys. So we've learned a lot of things over the course of this year. But if anything, I hope that we've been able to learn uh, how to keep our own music studies going. Um, we run into all these sorts of blockages, and that's where I want to be of use to you, okay? And we're going to be uh, supplying you guys with resources. I hope to um, let you guys uh, ask me questions that can um, help us keep a dialogue going, you know, teacher, student. So I want to be able to make some uh, lesson videos for you guys uh, around the topics that we worked a little more in depth on, things like uh, chords and scales and ways to use chord progressions, you know? So there is a lot that we can still do in depth, even though we've just got this video sort of interaction. Um, all right, all right, check out this chord progression. Yeah, that's right. Who knows for how long? So, I want to keep you guys stimulated with a few different songs that might be fun and creative. Uh, I know that everybody's got a different musical taste, but I hope these things can be fun. Just try them out. It's going to be uh, a whole bunch of tiny little things like this. So, get ready. Uh, today's lesson is with a guitar, and we're going to be doing these uh, power chord forms. It's 
a good step in between uh, bar chords and our open shape chords. Okay, so check it out. Here we go. Our first one is on a G, but I'm putting my first finger down on the third fret, third finger down on the fifth fret, and pinky on the same fret but the next string. So just these three strings, and it's okay to let them ring out, especially on this first chord, because the other strings make up a G major chord too. Okay, so here we go. Maybe I want to do it a little bit more muffled, keep with the, uh, the general tone of the song, and I go. Then we're going to be coming up here. This is where I'm keeping the exact same shape and just sliding it up. I'm on the sixth fret now. That's one past this white dot. All right. Then I'm going to go up again, but one whole step or two frets to the very next spacing. And if you guys look here, I love that I've got dots on my neck like this. It helps me to build these relationships be between dots and these gaps between them. So I like to look at this shape and notice that I'm, I'm on the gaps between the dots. My next uh, transition is going to go up to the next gap between the dots. Okay. Then it gets really easy from here because my next two chords are the exact same thing but shifted down one set of strings. So if we want to count up and check, make sure we're in the same place, I'm now on my A string or the second string and I'm up, this is the third on the first fret, uh, the fifth with this second dot, the seventh with that dot, so I must be on the eighth, eighth and tenth fret with this shape, starting on the A string. Okay, this finger's not doing anything. And then I'm gonna slide this shape up, one whole step or two frets once more, and that is the entire idea. So once you get this transition down of, Three and five, six and eight, eight and ten, shifting, eight and ten, ten and twelve. There you go. You got this whole part. This is the chorus for Alice Cooper's School's Out for Summer. Now, I hope it's not out all the way until summer. We've been given notice that it's just until the 30th. Let's work from that. Okay. I hope you guys enjoyed this lesson. Um, once again, here it goes. All right, have fun with that, guys. Real quick, for anyone else out there who wants to play on another instrument, those chords are going to be G, B flat, C, F, and G. Okay, it might sound different on another instrument than the guitar that the original songs played on, but remember, we just use what we got, right? So, once again, here we go G. B flat, C, F, G. All right, have fun.